health for Christ this month. We've got a Guilty Gear Dust Strikers. I've heard of that. Can't I've not actually played it. Dust Strikers, but <laughs> got this from my cousin's shop in Dover. Um, a really good deal on it. I looked at the pictures and tried to figure out what the hell was going. It's definitely a touch mode and yeah, customize your Robo Kai with your favourite move set. So yeah, it's eventually a robot Kai. Okay. Yes, it. Uh, as long as it doesn't have I know in it, which it clearly does because she's in the corner of the <laughs> and in the front of the game. And bus is, yeah. And this game, I picked up a few times in the bus, it was about like seven or eight pounds, and it's bound to be like the most boring game of a pilot's academy. And uh, it's probably not very good with a single stick as well. Yeah. It's probably the single yeah. stick will probably... Um... But it's one that I've picked up a few times in the past. I was never willing to pay five or six pounds for it, but two pounds... Yeah, I mean, you get to fly anything from Spitfire to a F-15 to a pilot jumbo jet, so... Mm. And little triplanes as well. Um, one GameCube pick up this month. Extreme G Racing 3. Which is okay. It's mm. not amazing. It's not, it's not any as good as Wipeout or F-Zero. It's, yeah. it's not as good as either of those. But it's okay. It's, it's fun. It's got a good uh, split-screen four-player multiplayer, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's slow down a bit on that. Yeah, could be good. Right, on to my PlayStation 2 y stuff. Starting off with Gallop Racer 2. <laughs> this is much horsiness in this game. Mm. I only reason I bought this is just to come around here and put play it. Me and Tony will put and we will play some multiplayer mm. on this. One to four players supported and we will take it mm. serious one night. And Tecmo, you've kept us entertained. All I can basically say it would be so much better if it was like Mario Kart and horse crap could kind of like drop on the floor <laughs> and you kind of hit it and spin. That would be awesome. You'd fire your horseshoes at people <laughs> as well. Or like yeah. Road Rash, you kind of go up to people and hit them with a the riding crop. <laughs> when I, when I, when I had the kids off school in the summer, so um, the younger daughter obviously influenced some of my buys. Disney Golf, I really like to see my seven year old sit there and play a golf game. <laughs> But yeah, you go, you have Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Daisy, Daffy Duck, they all seem to be there in a round of golf on the PS2. Have you ever tried this? Mm. Well, the thing is, though, kids these days don't really know who Mickey Mouse is, no. do they? No, <coughs> they haven't got a clue. Everyone knows who Mario is. All, all the kids know who Mario is, but not a clue who Mickey Mouse now is. Experiment 626 Disney Stitch on the Lilo and Stitch game. Actually, I love Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, so. I think it's brilliant. The TV series was... Um, yeah. Um, yeah. But the original the second, movie. And the second proper film was good. Mm. Second proper film. Yeah. Um, so, might be worth putting on 20 minutes to entertain the daughter one day. I must highlight that this was only 25 people I bought it, <laughs> but uh, Iron Ace is too. And like Iron Eagles too. That would be, be awesome. Yeah. Especially <laughs> yeah. the soundtrack. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. It's just imagine it's your plane. It's uh, the history of air combat. Features pilots more than 34 aircraft from the nimble Spitfire to the hovering Harrier. Battle in aerial and land conflict in over 35 missions and campaigns. Great fun. And the X-Files game on the PS2. Didn't know I didn't actually have it. Had the, the original PS1. Yeah, didn't yeah I've got the original PS1, PS1 but I, for some reason I just didn't have this. I did see it out when I was on holiday up in Norwich, but it had no manual. So no manual equals no buy. Um, big X-Files. I almost see how to get in this one. In the original Lost episode, you will enter a te treacherous world filled with authentic X-Files mythology, thrilling challenges and genuine terror. Battle horrifying paranormal f paranormal phenomena and contact... Oh, uh, and long words. Yeah, <laughs> and conduct <laughs> autopsies while in search for the truth. <laughs> yes. Now on to my Xboxy stuff. Uh, I actually got some good games for the Xbox. Yes, Full Spectrum Warrior. Uh, I, I actually uh, really enjoyed that. Yeah, the first, I never got around to play it even. There was mm. two released. Yeah. Uh, 35p, <laughs> you know. You can't really say no, you can. And then you just don't mm. buy it. Yes, I actually really enjoy game, them. Isn't it? Yeah, you don't actually control them. You kind of like tell them what to do. Mm. Uh, it, it's I actually really enjoyed it. So it's a dictator game. Um, <laughs> mind you, dictators they still have choice. Dictators don't do they? I, it would be better if you actually had like a big Cuban cigar and a kind of like El Presidente cap. Mm. That'd be cool. <clears throat> Pick this up the other day. I'm sure I haven't got it. I, I played that to death. Thanks and crash. It's got big robots in it. Of course, yeah. I played it to death. Yeah. <clears throat> well, well, I, I, it's one of like the first games I actually got on my original Xbox. 
Yeah. When I got it, I bought this. And it's really, really weird. I mean, Genki, a lot of their Genki stuff is very strange in its translation. And lots of English. Yeah, um, I find this very And it's just very, very weird. You know, it's very much like, you know, Tokyo Extreme Racer. Yeah. Imagine that with giant robot battling. That's pretty cool. It's actually a lot of fun. You, yeah. you can put a lot of money into your into your robot, building them up and stuff. And that's what you do. Yeah. And um, keep going to arenas, and it's pretty good. <clears throat> I had it on the um, GameCube. I put it on GameCube as well. But like James Bond 007 Nightfire. I mean, I think most of these original James Bond games are quite good. I just wasn't in the mood for playing. That the one wasn't bad. That one wasn't yeah. bad. The one that came after, I can't remember what it was, wasn't good. Wasn't good. But that one, you know, the, the stuff like Goldeneye, Rogue Agent was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, Call of Duty. Well, not quite no, Call not of Duty. No, no, not no, 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 not no, the newest one. Not the newest one. Yeah. yeah. That supposed sequel shit that they done. Yeah. But yeah. 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 when you play a bad guy sort of mm. thing. But that wasn't so good. Yeah. And uh, sticking with W07. But that's the one that wasn't so good. Everything got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so and it was really... They've got, our, they've got our friend from Best Deal stickers on it, and he always does two, uh, three for two, so we're getting cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> so there was one game I wanted in there, I can't remember what it was, so I thought, oh, Reckless, I saw it for free. Mm. And um, they don't know much about this one. Uh, it's not that good. No. It's okay. But so Heidi Klum and Willem Dafoe, isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a really good. big production value. Richard Kill. I've met Richard Kill, and I'll tell you what, he... Fucking huge! His hand is massive. It makes you feel like a little baby hand going into an adult hand. It's scary. Um, it's got Maya in it and John Cleese and Judy Dench as it. Yeah, it's really sort of high production values at the time. Mm. It just wasn't really that good. <clears throat> now this game I absolutely adored when it first came out. Me and uh, my friend Adrian we played this loads. We bought it the day it was available. The graphics absolutely blew our minds. We just mm. Back when in, when uh, you're used to kind of like you know even just Dreamcast stuff, it was it was so far yeah. beyond that. You know, it's... there was such a layer of sheen on this game that you were like, "That's real." Frame rate was a bit iffy. That's though. real. Frame yeah, but it's just iffy. how shiny the cars. Yeah, were. that's what yeah. made this game. That's actually it was a really fun game. It did get ridiculously hard while we stopped mm. playing it. And if I remember correctly, there was a sequel, but Edgar Wright fan. Oh, that's an awesome game. Yeah, I. I got to be honest with this guy. I'm the dangerous on Xbox. Is um, I got so stuck on this game that I ended up putting a cheat in for ultimate <laughs> infinite lives just to see the ending. But it is great. Any fun. game that has a land shot cannon, yeah, uh, is a win. Yeah, you know. yeah. This game is great fun to play. It's um, really flawed though, isn't it? Yeah, it's really flawed. You can but go it's around in circles awesome. for ages. Yeah, no, it's literally. really flawed. Oh, but it is awesome. Awesome. Oh, God, <coughs> um, the original destroy all humans. Uh, I sort of semi enjoyed it at the time, but I only gave it like five minutes or so, working so much, way too much back then, not enough gaming time. Get work, weekend. Um, yeah, kind of, you know, play the aliens, come down, do what you're meant to do, and go, huh? Hmm. You should play it? No, well, I've, got, I've got like, um, I think the third one, I think it is on the way. Mm. Like They're fun. They're fun. I think like the first couple are probably better than the later ones. But... Yes. And ignore the prize link, because I certainly didn't pay that. <laughs> Um, you can knock 15 off it, that's what I paid for it. And so, yeah, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. I've been wanting this for a while, and Ian's had it in my shop teasing me. But I saw this and made an offer on it, which was accepted. Never got around to playing it, but Tony has many fun stories. Oh, yeah, I have played this today. Basically, take a park and you build your park up. You basically put dinosaurs in there, you, you keep all your people coming in, you know, through the gate and stuff. and you know, you take all your money and everything else, and you, you build more dinosaurs and more dinosaurs. And, you know, you've got more fenced off and everything else. You get your park nice and full. Then you take the fences down. <laughs> oh, yes. And you Absolutely see awesome. all your good work <laughs> <laughs> going out the window. <clears throat> and as we come to an end, um, everybody go to Zavi. Zavi.com at the moment. Pick up the Metal Gear Rising Limited Edition. It's £25. But it is Play Arts Riding figure. And as, as the thing is, the Play Arts Riding figure is worth more than £25. Yeah, pounds, they're so. like £70 pounds on eBay anyway. I opened this the other day with the intention of actually opening it. I unsealed it. And um, 
<laughs> and what I'll do is I'll take it out and put a picture <laughs> because that ain't coming up for you. But yeah, um, I enjoyed this. This has got many haters and likers. I mean, it started off under Konami, but ended up being finished by Platinum Games. Yeah. Um, very, uh, what did we say? Was it a Devil May Cry? Uh, Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, Ninja Bayonet, Gaiden. Yeah, that all that style. Mixed. Um, it's slightly more loose. Not it has so... fantastic DLC. The mm. two DLC, about two and a half, three hours long each. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. Um, but it comes with one of the last bosses that's a typical Hideo Kojima must have created because it just goes on and gets harder and goes on and gets harder. Albeit not, not 36 hours of cutscenes, you actually play the ending of this mm. game. Um, yeah, I mean, for the price of this £25, it's, it's definitely worth getting. And um, yeah, so I'm happy with my pickups this month. Bring on September. <laughs>